This is the theme of setback and misery, Buster's setback, select frames. And this is where he basically takes note of the situation that Paul Sheldon is missing. You know, on two fronts, um, not only is it a setback for um, Paul Sheldon's relationship with his agent to the point that he's not calling her and telling her when he has left, but it's a setback for Buster because someone is missing in his town. He's the sheriff. And if you look at the frame here, you see on the a wall, the boss, right? And so anytime that you are a leader or the boss of something, in this case a town, you should know the ins and outs of your own town. And he knows that Paul Sheldon comes to that area. And so I'm not saying that he needed to call Paul Sheldon and say, okay, are you all right if you need anything or anything like that? But it's interesting that he, that Paul Sheldon doesn't have a relationship with the people in the town other than uh, the lodge manager. And he doesn't really have a relationship with him. He doesn't have a relationship with the general store manager, the sheriff, um, or anybody else. So then he comes in and out. He comes in and out of a particular town that he uses for six weeks at on, on end to write a book, but he doesn't visit the store. He doesn't uh, know anybody. I mean, if anything, if you're staying that long in a, in a particular town, that's almost like your second home. So the fact that he doesn't have a relationship with the people because he doesn't have a relationship with the sheriff, at least the sheriff, is, this is not a big city. This is a, this is a small town. And so I thought that was interesting that um, it could be Buster just wanted to let Paul Sheldon be Paul Sheldon in his town or uh, Paul Sheldon didn't think it was important to know the people in the town because had he known that in the same way that the agent knows that he usually calls her before he leaves, uh, maybe people would have taken note of him not uh, leaving, I mean, leaving or something like that had he contacted them. You know, if you are going from one town to the next, one state to the next, it's something that you want to tell somebody. So just in case something happens. I think it's interesting that if he's getting out of his pattern of calling the agent before he leaves what's going on with that because remember the agent is pushing for the economics of keeping misery right and continuing to write misery whereas he wants to get into more serious work and so he's thinking from a place of emotions and psychology that he's not happy writing that book and so it's, it's, it's interesting that he's not calling his agent. So there must be maybe some underlying animosity there or something like that, because here it is, you want to do one thing and people keep trying to push you to do another thing, right? So I, so I kind of thought that was interesting. All right, like, subscribe, and visit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more discussions. You can visit my YouTube channel for Further Film Analysis is Favorites Film Analysis as the title of the channel. Uh, you can always send me an email and ask me a question, ReginaYFavorites at Yahoo.com. My Overcoming Setback, Five Keys for Entering and Exiting Correction book uh, will become available around October 2021. I'm still doing some editing. The book does not focus on film analyses, but I use uh, the content that, that I created for the book to support my um, my perceptions of setback used as a theme in select films. So when the book becomes available, I will send out a notification video audio. Um, thank you very much for visiting the channel.